Hello and welcome to the studio. Today I'm comparing two popular chemical rust removers from both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. On the left, we have Evapo-Rust, a liquid rust remover from an Arkansas-based company that's particularly popular amongst auto enthusiasts in the US and Canada. And on the right, we have Deoxy. It's a similar rust remover from the heart of Essex County in the United Kingdom. Both products hail from the agricultural centers of their respective nations, born from the need to protect and restore rusty farm equipment from the destructive clutches of corrosive decay. And both are readily available, thanks to retail stores as well as the magic of eBay and its cheap international shipping. But the real question is, which is the better product? And which is the better deal? So to figure this out, we're going to be testing these products head to head on some badly rusted hardware. These guys. These rusty metal brackets are from the running boards on the Studio VRM FJ Cruiser, which has been both our team tow vehicle as well as my daily driver for the last eight years. The use instructions are pretty straightforward for both of these products. With the evapor rust, we just pour enough of this stuff to completely submerge the rusty hardware and let it sit. The Deoxy, on the other hand, comes in a concentrated powder form, which means we need to dilute it in some warm water in order to use it. But this also means that we can vary the concentration depending on how bad the corrosion is. The instructions recommend a 5% solution by weight or volume for normal levels of rust, and a 20% solution for heavily rusted items. So we're going to try all three. So let's take these solutions out to the garage and see exactly how they do. Okay, we are now in the garage, and we have our three products laid out right here. The Evaporust has this slight yellowish-green tint, while to my surprise, the Deoxy is actually clear. The 20% solution has a little more of an opaque tint to it, but um, yeah, you can see right through the bucket, which I did not expect. Now. Although all three of these products claim to be safe to handle, I am wearing gloves just in case. Thankfully, there are no real fumes coming off, um, even though the Deoxy does have a very distinct smell. So now that we're all set up, we're going to take our bracketry and we're going to start our experiment. So that's one. There's a second one there. And there's our third one there. Okay, we're back in the garage at the two hour mark, and I am back using my usual microphone, so hopefully the audio quality is a little better than it was before. So let's take a look at these work pieces, starting with the 20% Deox C. And wow, that is actually very impressive. You can actually see bare metal showing right around here under all this paint and rust and scale. And as before, these nutserts are almost completely clean. These rusty bits up, up, up here are improving substantially. It's just flaking off when I rub my fingers. That's very impressive. 
So next is the 5% solution. Let's take a look at that. Hmm. This one's also progressing quite nicely. I'm starting to see bare metal under here. And as with the 20% uh, solution, the nut certs here are looking much, much better. I am seeing a lot more progress on this part up here compared to the compared to when we looked at it at the one hour mark. So this is looking pretty good. And then finally, let's look at our evaporust sit sample. All right, so now, now that it's been two hours, the nut certs are looking much more silvery, silvery and much less rusty. The paint's starting to flake off, which is good. It means it's dissolving some of the rust underneath. Now the surface rust on the outside of the bracket doesn't seem to be dissolving quite as fast as the other two solutions, but you can definitely see it's working. If you compare the uh, surfaces here versus the untouched surfaces, whoops, the untouched surfaces over here. Yep, this is definitely working. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but all three of these solutions are starting to turn a very similar color, and the bubbling on top of the evapor rust has stopped. You know, aside from the 20% deoxy being much darker from all the extra rust that it's dissolved, there doesn't really seem to be much of a visual difference between these three solutions. I bet you if I didn't have these now slightly dirty labels down here, I wouldn't be able to tell which was which. But in any case, let's come back at the 12 hour mark and see how these solutions are doing. Okay, we're now back. It's been approximately 12 hours. Let's see how our three brackets are doing. Starting with the 20% concentration of deoxy. All right. And this is actually pretty impressive. Pretty much all the rust has come off the shiny metal surfaces here. You can see the bare metal underneath the paint on the bottom side of the bracket here. And even this heavily pitted and heavily corroded surface is now starting to show most of the original metal. I bet with a little bit of brushing and maybe some light sanding, this will look almost new. It's really good, it's imp especially impressive, especially since we didn't do any sanding or any prepping of these parts before we put them in the solution. Okay, so that was the 20% solution. Now here's the 5% solution. Let's see how this guy is doing. Now, as expected, there is a little more rust left compared to the 20% solution. But it's definitely doing a pretty good job. Compared to 12 hours ago, all the surfaces look much, much cleaner. The rust on the sides here are flaking off and rubbing off much more easily. And you're actually starting to see some of the uh, bare metal under here. I'm willing to wager that if we did a little bit of light brushing every couple hours, this would all be clean, clear, bare metal by the six or eight hour mark. So again, pretty good progress. Finally, let's look at the evaporust. All right, the evaporust is Still looking a little rustier compared to the other two solutions. You can definitely see that it's making progress. It just happens to be a little bit slower. A lot of the paint on the bottom is starting to flake off, which is good. It means a lot of the corrosion under the surface is being attacked and being dissolved. So that comes off nice and easy. Yeah. 
Still a ways to go. But it is definitely working. Again, with some light brushing and prepping of the, of the surface, I suspect that uh, a lot of this would come off pretty easily. But do you have to say, the although the shiny metal nut certs down at the bottom are looking much, much better, these large surfaces on the sides and the bottom, they're not quite as clean as they are on the two deoxy samples. Now just looking at these three solutions, I've also noticed that the evapo-rust seems to be much, much darker than the other two solutions. Followed up by the 20% concentration of deoxy, and then finally the 5% concentration of deoxy. But okay, let's let these guys simmer for another 12 hours so we can get to the full 24 hour mark, and then let's pull them out and see what our final results look like. Let's see how our three samples are doing. Starting again with the 20% deoxy, and whoa okay um i did not expect this now keep in mind when we put these samples in we didn't brush them we didn't clean them we didn't do anything we didn't even bother knocking some of the paint off the bottom and yet it appears that the submerged parts of the 20 percent sample seem to be almost completely rust free let's see a little speck here but this is all the way down to the bare metal. That's very impressive. Let's see how the 5% solution did. You know what? That is actually still very impressive. Obviously there is still quite a bit more rust compared to the 20% solution. No surprise there. It's a much more diluted solution, but you can also see that there's a lot of uh, bare metal showing where it was just total scale and rust before. Keep in mind, 24 hours ago it looked like this. And now, if I can just rub this with my finger, and you can see bare metal. The nut certs and the under underside shard hardware is very shiny. Still a little bit of rust under the paint, which is to be expected. Normally you're supposed to brush that off, like we said before. But again, pretty good results. And then finally the evapo rust. I'm expecting some big changes here. The evapo rust solution has turned almost completely black, which seems to indicate that a lot of the rust has actually come off of the workpiece and into the solution. And yes, this seems to be a lot better as well. There's definitely a little more scale, a little more rust than there is in either of the deoxy solutions, but you can definitely start to see some of the bare metal underneath here. Again, a little dirty, but if I rub my finger here, you can start to see the silver of the natural metal, where, again, before, it looked like this. Not too bad. Not quite as good as the deoxy, but still. Considering that we did nothing to these workpieces before we ducked them in the solution, not too bad at all. And there we have it. In terms of pure effectiveness, the results are really as you see it here. The evapo rust did admirably, especially considering the lower than optimal temperatures and the fact that we didn't really prep or brush the brackets at all. But the 5% deoxy solution did a much better job of removing the rust off of these brackets, while the 20% deoxy solution completely blew the evapo rust out of the water. The workpieces we soaked in the deoxy have much less rust on them all around. And we'll take a lot less work to finish these so they can be repainted and put back into surface. Something else to consider. If you look at the remaining solution left in these buckets, the deoxy is much lighter in color compared to the evapor rust. This is important because the manufacturers of both solutions claim that you can reuse these rust removers until they turn completely black. Based on this, I should be able to do a lot more rust removal with the remaining deoxy than I can with the evapo rust. 
So if you're just looking at effectiveness, the DOCC is the clear winner. But which is the more cost-effective solution? Well, at $20 for a one-gallon bottle, the Evaporust is actually a pretty good deal. But the 5% DOCC solution did do a slightly better job, and this one kilogram bottle of concentrate will make 20 liters, or approximately 5 gallons, of 5% concentrate rust remover. And considering this bottle costs around $40, including shipping to the east coast of the US, you have to concede that the DOCC is also the more cost effective of these two products. So in conclusion, it looks like the British born rust remover is the clear winner in this battle of the liquid rust converters. I honestly don't know why they don't sell this in stores in the US. This could have saved me a lot of money a little while ago. If uh, anybody from Built Handler, the manufacturer, is watching this video, I would say, hey, find a US-based distributor to sell this. It works. People here will buy it. I mean, I know I would. But in any case, that's all I have for you today. Be sure to subscribe and check back for more comparisons like this in the future. And until then, I will see you at the track.